Again, good afternoon po. I'm very sorry that this webinar na medyo late afternoon this um Saturday, no? So, I'll try to keep it short and also simple. Uh, hindi tayo masyado matagal so that you have the rest of the day to your uh, weekend activities. All right? Now, to introduce myself, no, I am Tara Drampato. Actually, my full name is, is Naira, pero uh, mas easier to pronounce yung Tara. I'm the business development of the BDD department and also market ed education team no, of First Metro Securities, the stock brokerage house of the Metro Bank Group. Now, for those who are, I think, new sa ating mga sessions, uh, sa ating mga webinar, even some of our events, no? Our company, First Metro Securities, is dedicated to financial literacy and creating awareness of investment opportunities to attain their financial goals. At the same time, we envision it as the largest and most trusted Philippine investment solutions partner. So for today's hour, no, um, I will be your host and also your speaker. Okay, now... Just like this event, um, continuous po kami uh, na nagkakandak po ng mga Finlit session seminars on site before siguro uh, maybe after the challenges that we have from the pandemic, uh, nag-shift po tayo ng content to webinar format. So I think majority of our sessions, specifically mga public sessions natin just like this one, is naka-webinar format. Okay? Now, we are also regularly invited by the public sector, mga agencies natin. We also have the academic institutions, uh, colleges or universities. Baka familiar kayo sa uh, some of our speakers, no? maybe nakapunta na sa mga schools ninyo or from your private organization. So it's amazing how technology um, together with the social media as well no, in helping us and able to add value wherever we are located. So some of our I think recent sessions from the public sector, no, for example, uh, the Bureau of Treasury for the Bonds 101 and also MP2 Basics and other funds from the Pag-ibig. These were um I think sessions from February natin uh na mga activities. Anyways, if hindi po natin uh nahabol yung mga live sessions but you are very interested in getting to know some of the funds offered by the government feel free po to check our YouTube channel. Search lang po natin yung handle at First Metro Sec. Now, for those na medyo mahilig to start their um, investing journey, no whether basics by ng stock market 101 just like this one, or even intermediate to medyo advanced level no of other investment vehicles, meron din po tayo niyan. Feel free to check that out as well. Now, in terms of financial literacy in the Philippines, no, saan na ba tayo? Uh, medyo, ano na bang level natin? No? I think only 1% of the Filipinos are currently investing in the stocks, bonds, or funds. So, uh, so far, hindi pa tayo ganun na level na medyo 50% of the population. So, this really indicates a significant gap of in financial knowledge and also investment participation among our fellow Filipinos. So, our company, First Metro Securities, we try to fill that gap by providing continuous finlit literary sessions to the Filipinos na hindi po abot ng ganitong mga opportunity, especially for those OFW natin na nasa abroad. So hopefully for this session, no, marami tayong matutunan about the stock market investing and how we can take advantage of it. Ayan. So... Ano nga ba yung pag-uusapan natin, no? I will be talking about the maybe some of the important parts of stock market. So this will be more of stock market 101. We're going to start with the investor life cycle, followed by the um we will understand how the stock market work. Third is we will know what are the advantages of investing regularly. And lastly is we will know how our company First Metro Securities can help you with that investment journey. Now, if, again, if you have questions for regarding the presentation, feel free to ask in the Q&A of the Zoom panel. We will answer them later during the live Q&A portion of the presentation. Okay, now, uh, let's start with our first uh, factor to talk about though, is the investor life cycle. Okay, so the investor life cycle na sinasabi natin, it really describes the different stages we go through as 
investors. Okay? So, nakakatulong na malaman natin kung saan na ba tayo in order to create or decide on the right financial decisions. Okay? So, stage one, sinasabi natin beginner pa tayo, no? Meaning, nagsisimula pa tayo. So, beginner, this can be student ka pa or employee ka pa ngayon or even at the medyo late stage of adulting, okay? Nagsisimula ka pa lang um, mag-aral kung ano ang iba't-ibang investments that you can take. Okay, so one good example is you are taking webinars like this one, um, enrolling yourself in maybe some of the certifications available online and even on-site. Okay, but then from a professional that you can also trust. Okay, number two is, siya sabi natin na accumulator kung saan uh, these are the people na nag-iipon na in their uh, stage, no? So, aktibo siya nag-i-invest para palaguin yung kanyang pera. Meaning, nagpo-focus din siya on some parts of his or her uh, profile. Meaning, nagsastart na siya ng kanyang portfolio building. Okay? One good example is that um, he or she is planning to set aside some portion of his or her um, income or salary para to buy some stocks or other investment uh, vehicles. Okay? Number three, tinatawag natin na consolidator, meaning he or she is starting to organize. No? Minsan, um, ina-evaluate niya na yung kanyang investment strategy, if effective ba siya. Or um, at the same time, nagbabalas din siya ng risk and return na pwede niya makuha from that investment. Okay? Para siguraduhin niya na tama yung kanyang strategy or baka pwede pa niyang i-adjust. Okay? Now, one good example for this one is he or she can invest in other investment vehicles para um, hindi po buo yung risk. No? He, he or she can minimize that risk. Okay? Stage 4, ito yung sinasabi natin na medyo malapit na sa mga retirement years. No? Natawag natin dito ay preserver. Okay? Meaning, pinaprotektahan niya na uh, while also papalaguin niya ang kanyang naipundar na pera naghanap siya ng mga low risk investments no para uh, siguraduhin niya na medyo nasa stable to steady yung kanyang uh, pera so basically um he or she is finding yung mga safe options na investments one good example is the bonds okay number 5 pinaka last stage natin ito yung mga i think nasa retirement years na no gumagamit ng mga returns nila from their investments para sa kanang retirement or even some of his or her mga goals na hindi niya pa na-achieve. No? One good example, for example, um, nakaprioritize na siya sa sustainable withdrawal and even legacy planning. So, he or she can uh, maybe enjoy some of the returns that she can get from those investment, maybe buying um, some house no or even giving that returns to his or her dependents. Okay? Now, as a reflection, no, from these kind of stages, let me ask our participants kung saan na ba tayo dito na stage. Okay, kindly type in sa chat box if beginner ka ba or nasa accumulator ka na sa stage. So, let me see our chat box. Ayan, so we have preserver or do we have some participants na nasa restart, uh, retirement stage na? Okay, um, I see two beginners pa. We do have consolidator. Ayan, may mga spender na din dito sa ating group. We also have accumulator. Ayan, we have two consolidators. So, uh, medyo balance ng contest. So, lahat ng stages meron dito from the participants. No? So, it's good because we will going to talk about this more as we go along from this um session. Ayan. So we have um Sir Melvin for consolidator. May mga private PMs din sa akin, no? I also see your answers. We have preserver and also spender. Another one, preserver and another one, spender. Okay, so thank you very much for um the participation. No? So hopefully we get to um, understand and also uh learn about ourselves more with regards to investing. Okay? I hope we get a better idea kung saan tayo in terms of investing. Kasi mas madali po natin i-understand kung anong ahakbang yun or next step yung dapat natin gawin in order to achieve our investing.
goals. Okay, lalo na if you are thinking for a long-term perspective in entering stock market. Okay? Yeah. So another one, preserver, that's a private PM as well. Okay? Thank you very much. Ayun. So, so sa mga susunod na slides, no? And the next slides, pag-uusapan po natin yung fundamentals ng stock market here in the Philippines and kung paano natin magagamit yung ating knowledge from this one para magawa tayo ng smart investment decisions. So, we must remember, no? Yung tinatawag natin na long-term investing is a journey kung saan dapat um, we are starting on the right foot. Tamang knowledge yung dapat na absorb natin in order for us to treat it as a guide to achieve our financial goals. Okay? Now, yeah. so let's start with the stocks. No, Let's discuss the basics of stock market investing. Okay? Yung tinatawag natin na stocks, it really represents the part ownership in a publicly listed company. So for example, it's like owning a business pero hindi po ikaw yung nagli-lead or nag run ng business. Okay? The term stocks and equities are often interchangeably na ginagamit no? since they are synonymous. Okay? Yung mga individuals natin like me, yourself, or even institutions or companies own stocks of other companies with the expectation na tataas po or there is still growth in its stock price and also earn dividend income. So, yung mga stock natin, um, they can also be bought or binibili din siya and binibenta in stock exchanges. Okay? So, due to the short-term volatility or magalaw na movement of the stocks, it will be best to use investable funds and have a long-term perspective. Okay? So, as an investor, think of it is once you enter the stock market, we are putting money on the principal drivers of the economy. Okay. Pinaka important, I think, pinaka common questions that we get from the newbie or uh, I think would be investors is why do companies issue stocks? Okay. Ano nga ba yung mga main reasons? So they issue stocks to raise capital from public investors to fund certain business operations. So, ano yung mga business operations that we are talking about? Number one. Um, expansion of facilities, maybe they're adding the number of stores or maybe um, entering new markets No, if they would like to maybe introduce a new product or service to the market. So, kailangan nila ng um, enough funding for that venture. At the same time, companies might also need more funds to pay off some of their obligations or debts. Pwede din yun. Okay? Now, so, similar to taking a slice of pizza, no, when you dine out, kumakain tayo ng mga, for example, SNR ba yan or other uh, pizza companies, uh, usually naka-take apart siya or naka-pizza slice siya. So, private companies take a portion of their business and divide it into number of stocks. And then, they offer this to the public at a certain price per stock. So, for example, um, pwede nila ibenta 80 pesos per share. No? So when a company does this for the first time, we call this the initial public offering or tinatawag natin na IPO. Okay, so companies prefer to issue stocks po if they are able to raise more capital than borrowing money. Because for example, kapag magtitake ka pa ng loan, magbaborrow ka pa ng loan, magbabayad ka pa ng interest and you have to pay the principal. Okay, so trade-off lang po nila is that they have to share a piece of the company and abide with the financial and legal regulations of the SEC or the Securities and Exchange Commission. Now, the other regulatory bodies for stocks are the PSC. We have the Philippine Stock Exchange. We also have the Banco Central ng Pilipinas or the BSP and Bureau of Internal Revenue or the BIR. Okay? Now, sa initial public offering kasi or IPO yung sinabi natin kanina, ang stock ay magiging publicly listed na po sa PSE. Okay? So, ito yung tatawag natin na secondary market. Okay? Kung saan binubuo pa ng mga buyers and also sellers na nagbebenta or nagbabay ng mga stocks. Okay? Yung mga bumili sa IPO, no, pwede na nila ibenta yung kanilang mga stocks sa presyo na gusto nila. Tawag po natin dito ay as price. Okay? Yun ang mga interesadong bumili, no? Yung mga, I think, yung mga buyers, pwede na mag-bid sa mga stocks na gusto nila 
na bilhin, no? Tawag natin dito ay bid price, okay? So, as a licensed trading participant in the Philippine Stock Exchange, the role of First Metro Securities is to make it easy for our clients na bumili and also magbenta ng stocks using our online platform in the web and also the First Metro Sec Go mobile app, okay? One example of our mobile app, as you can see here on your screen, you can check the uh, stock price of a certain stock and also some other information. Okay, now, when you start kasi stock market investing, meron pa tayong trading schedule na pinafollow. Okay, so here is the PSE trading schedule. Regular po ito na pinafollow ng mga investors. So usually the market reopens at 9 a.m. So... That time, they can start posting their orders until it opens 9.30 a.m. But the modifications and cancellations are only allowed until 9.15. So when the morning session starts, no, continuous, uh, continuously po inaccept yung mga orders and automatically match based on the best market price available at that time. So these are transactions nakikita nyo sa mga ticker tape. So, we'll discuss it this further, yung sinasabi natin na ticker tape. Okay? Now, meron din pong recess or break yung market, no? That is from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. So, during this period, kapag naka-break siya, during this period, orders cannot be entered. Di din natin pwede ma-modify and also cancel. Okay? Now, kailan kaya siya nagko-close, no? Yung market. The market pre-closes po at 2.45 to 2.50. So, orders cannot be entered. I can be entered naman po. Pwede pa naman siya. Pero yung modifications and cancellations are only allowed po until 2.48 p.m. Okay? And then the market enters the runoff period na tinatawag natin at 2.50 p.m. Only limit orders at closing price can be entered until formally the market closes at 3 p.m. So, this might be confusing for new investors but you can use the trading schedule when you start investing na po in stock market. Pero at least day by day, you get used to the schedule. Okay? Again. So yung sinasabi natin na ticker tape kanina, no? once you open kasi a stock brokerage account or maybe for those na medyo mahilig manood na mga money-related movies or even some of the news, no, you can actually... Uh, see a sample of ticker tape. You nakikita nyo on your screen at the lower part of the presentation, no? you will see what is called a ticker tape, displaying information on traded stocks. Okay, You can usually see three basic information of the stock transaction. No? So in this example, you can actually see um, MBT, that is a symbol. We have 66.00, we have 1,360. Ano nga ba yung... Um, Ibig sabihin ng mga symbols and numbers na ito, no? So, first, let's identify. Isa-isahin natin para we get to understand, no? First is the stock symbol. So, tulad ng example, we have MBT kung saan this is a ticker code or the short-term version for the company Metropolitan Bank and Trust Company, okay? Second is the stock price kung saan magkasundo po yung buyers and sellers for that stock. We have the 66 pesos. And... Third is the overall or the total number of shares. Okay, now to summarize the information, no, says in the ticker tape, there is 1,360 shares of Metro Bank that was traded 66 pesos per share. Okay, so hopefully we get to understand. So no worries, I prepared some examples, no, para fully we get to digest ano nga ba yung pinag-usapan natin with that ticker tape. Okay. Now, check natin if naitindihan natin. I prepared a sample ticker tape with details. Okay, first example, at what price did Meg trade? Kindly type in sa ating chat box. At what price did Meg trade? Ayan, I see some questions. I see some questions then and also answers. At what price did Meg trade? Okay. So first one to got it correct, we have Sir Jim Ong. The correct answer po is 2.02 .02 pesos. Okay. 
Next question, how many shares of Ali was traded at 26.55 pesos? Okay, how many shares of Ali was traded at 26.55 pesos? Okay, first one to get the answer. Um, it's also Sir Jim followed by Jopani Lucas. Okay, now for the, I think, last question na po, what stock traded at 1.46 pesos? Yan, yung mga keyboard warriors ang bilis na mag-type, no? So, the correct answer is um, SP Nick, the one who got the correct answer first is we have Sir Brian Eduardo. Okay, congratulations for those who got the correct answers as well. Yeah, so after learning that, no, this begs the question, ano nga ba yung minimum number of shares that you can buy? Okay, so what if you have that stock na gusto mong bilhin? Ano nga ba yung minimum shares that you can buy? Okay, yeah. So this brings us to the discussion of what we call board lot okay so this is the number of shares that you can buy for a specific price range so dito din natin malalaman kung magkano po ang kakailanganin natin para mag-invest sa isang stock ng company okay for better appreciation no let's look at these examples with closing prices as of uh, november 8 2024 that's yesterday first is pure gold with a ticker code p gold okay now traded at 32 pesos, so it's between 5 pesos to 49.95 pesos already. So the minimum numbers that you can um, trade no, are 100 and increments thereof. So in this case, you need around 3,200 pesos to start investing in pure gold. Okay. Yeah, next example is we have the SM Investments traded at 916. So it's between 50 to 995.5 pesos price range already. And the minimum number of shares that can be traded are 10 and increments thereof. So in this case, you need around 9,160 pesos to start investing in SM. Okay. Lastly is PLDT. So it traded at 1,400 pesos, so it's already greater than 1,000 pesos already. And the minimum number of shares that can be traded are 5 and increments thereof. So in this case, you need around uh, 7,000 to invest in um, TEL or the PLTT. Okay, so as you can observe, no, as the share prices increases, kapag tumataas po yung um, stock price, the minimum number of shares required is bumababa or it decreases. So you also don't need a lot of money in order to start investing. Okay, so the next question is that how can we earn no, from those stock market investing? So let's talk about the simple ways to make money from stocks without any complicated stuff okay number one first rule natin buy low sell high meaning you buy it at a very cheap price sell kapag medyo high price na siya or tumaas yung presyo so imagine for example nasa grocery ka or even a big store grab ka ng mga items na nasa sale and then pwede mo siya ibenta kapag tumaas na yung kanyang value or yung kanyang uh, price okay number two is Dividends, okay? So some companies share po ng profits. So you get paid regularly, for example, like little bonus for supporting them, okay? One good example is that you can actually reinvest your profits, okay? Grow your money faster by reinvesting. So instead of um, cash out mo siya, you can instead buy more stocks, okay? So it's like planting more money trees though. So if paid out regularly by stable companies, dividends can be a good source of income. Okay. Now, some companies have a dividend policy which indicates the percentage of the net income to be given as dividends to their um investors. Okay. There are hundreds of publicly listed companies sa ating PSE or their local stock exchange natin that we can choose from Pero what are the types of stocks? Okay, now let's start off with the uh, uh, preferred stocks. No, 
we have preferred stocks. Um, some characteristics would be they pay fixed dividends based on their issue price. Usually, the dividend yields are slightly higher that you can get from the common stocks. Okay, they also have the potential to increase in price because they are also traded on the secondary market. Now, for better appreciation, po, let's look at the Ayala Corporation Sorry. Class B Series A, no? Ayan. So, with a ticker symbol of APB2R. Okay, yung issue price niya is around 500 pesos as of November 8th. The market price is at 505 pesos already. Okay, meron din siyang dividends that kung saan you can receive in these payment methods. Um, this one, nagpipay siya four times. Yung kanyang frequency, usually February, May, August, and November. Okay? Yan. So, another type of um, stock, no, is tinatawag natin na common stocks. Okay? So, unlike preferred stocks, kasi if you want to compare, um, the dividends for common stocks can vary and depend on the company's profitability. Okay? And also, the decision of the board of directors okay so please do note no some companies do not give dividends so if you want stable dividends you can get them from preferred shares as well but if you're aiming for long-term gains common stocks have a bigger potential for it okay so for example no uh, we have globe telecom close at 2180 pesos as of november 8th Trailing 12 months po, it give 100 pesos dividends per share. So if the company will give uh, maybe same dividends no, in the next 12 months, you can, also you bought it at the same price, the trailing 12 months dividend will be around 4.59%. Okay? Yeah, so I see some questions already in the Q&A button. No? So keep it coming lang po if you do have some questions. Okay? So please do note no some companies do not give dividends okay now for more example no for us to understand yung ibang characteristics in action let's look at Miralco's historical performance from 2017 up to 2023 or last year so you can clearly see here no that the price fluctuates meaning um there are periods that it trends higher because of the due uh, supply and demand market forces, meaning kapag tumaas yung presyo niya, you can profit there. When you buy low and sell high, that's how you uh, make money investing, uh, money in investing, one of the few methods. No, There are also periods that it trends lower. You should avoid the stock during this time. But also, you can take advantage if cheap yung price niya, you can buy it and then sell it kapag medyo tumaas na yung presyo. Okay? Now, Despite the price fluctuations, no, Miralco has given dividends through uh, the years. No, for example, 2017, 18.225 pesos per share. Up until 2023, last year, we have 19.548 pesos per share. Okay. And third is we have the real estate investment trust. So actually, this one you might have heard it from others. Uh, actually, medyo popular din yung mga REITs. Maka you might have heard it from your family, your friends, or even the internet no, on how uh, very attractive yung mga REITs. Okay, let's first understand though, what real estate investment trust companies are. Okay, yung mga REITs natin, these are companies that are duly registered po with the Securities and Exchange Commission and publicly listed pa rin and traded on the Philippine Stock Exchange now. REITs kasi natin basically exist to own revenue generating real estate assets. Okay, so these assets no can be office spaces, uh, commercial centers, we have the hotels and also resorts and even energy producing projects. Okay, so through the REIT companies, uh, fund and property managers, the REIT company collects revenue and required po siya ng REIT law RA 9856 to distribute 90% of its annual distribu distributable income to its shareholders. Okay, so because of that um, feature, REITs can be a good source of passive dividend income for your diversified investment portfolio. Okay, for example, no, one of the REIT companies 
um, we have a rate traded at 39.65 pesos and with trailing 12 months dividend yield of around 5.6%. Okay, for common shareholders of REIT companies, that means that there is an opportunity po to uh, earn by the stream of dividends and the capital appreciation. Okay, the opportunity na mag-increase yung kanyang um, stock price. Okay, so over time, a REIT company's dividend per share and also share price may grow as a result for more revenue generating real estate assets na pwede pang i-inject or i-deposit sa kanyang portfolio. And also the yearly rent uh, escalation stipulations that may be included in the lease contracts it has with the tenants. Okay, now. Yung REITs natin, um, the investors have an attractive income generating security with a long-term growth potential. Okay, now to further learn about this, no, let's look at a REIT's historical performance from IPO up to the present. Okay, so you can clearly see here na may mga price fluctuations pa rin due to the supply and demand market forces. So currently, you can um, it is consolidating between the sideways trading range. So despite the price fluctuation, ARIT has given dividends quarterly since 2020. Okay, so in the year 2023, ARIT gave um, around 2.12 pesos in dividends, much higher than 2022 dividends. Okay, now. Ayun. So, including REITs, no, we have a couple of hundred stocks to choose from in order to get yung general sentiment of the market. Okay, The Philippine Stock Exchange periodically selects 30 best stocks to be part of the composite index na tinatawag natin. Okay? So, itong index na ito, this is like, for example, you can imagine this is like a barometer or a benchmark of the Philippine stock market's overall performance okay so these are the components of the index but at least you have that um information as well but i will not go deeper para um hindi din siya masyadong um deep yung conversation okay so uh, the psc conducts a semi annual review of the index components based on their for example liquidity free float level we have the full market capitalization and among others so basically these metrics no um uh, it really helps the pse na pwede nila increase or decrease the individual weights or even delete or add from the index. So, hindi na po tayo magtaka if ever may mga um, stocks po na mawala dito sa composite index or meron even madagdag. Okay? Because of that metrics na pinafollow po nila. Okay? Aside from that, yung index stocks then are also commonly called blue chip stocks. Okay? So, as you might have already observed, um, they share the following qualities, okay? So, number one is uh, they have a good brand recall. So, maybe a first glance pa lang sa company logo nila, you are already familiar of their business. For example, yung mukha pala ni Jollibee, you already know that is a food, a fast food uh, chain kung saan nagbebenta ng mga um, burgers or some, some, something that you already know when you were a child, no? Also, they also have a good demand for their products and services. Maybe you're already using their products or even their avid customer or client already. Okay. Consequently, they have gained enough traction or pull and captured a dominant market share in their respective industries. Whether food, telecommunication, bayan, technology, bayan, they also have been historically proven to weather down economic downturns because of their strong balance sheets okay now this level of stability can further help them maintain their long-term growth prospects and share a portion of the profits with their investors through the dividends na tinatawag natin kanina okay so out of all our options no ano nga ba yung mga good stocks to buy okay so if you are a long-term investor who can maybe accept moderate risk or short-term losses for maybe for potential higher returns over time, you can actually start researching on the companies that you are interested in by looking at their financial statements, balance sheets to pick stocks individually using the 
tinatawag natin na top-down approach. Okay, so I will just go through this one para mas easier for natin ma-digest. Okay, this is just one of the, I think, methods that you can follow as well. Okay, so first is we try to study the economic condition of the country. Second is we jump off to the industries or sectors that could grow in such an environment. And lastly is we analyze those specific companies under the industry that you want that has been potential to appreciate in price with a good margin of safety. Okay, now let's start for the bigger picture. We have the economic analysis no. So the investors look at the country's overall economic outlook first no, to really understand the viability of investment growth. Kung ano nga ba magiging performance ng inyong investment. Okay? One of the examples would be the GDP. So GDP, sometimes narinig nyo sa mga news, broadly measures the overall production of countries and investors are most interested in its growth over time. At the same time, Kapag may mga robust companies tayo, need also a strong labor force to keep it running. No? So the investors are also looking at the employment and also unemployment levels. Okay, But sometimes in life, no, I think we also experience this one. Uh, we take it by surprise. No? May mga events na hindi natin um, in-expect in the form of black swan events. Okay, One good example is the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so should it present any opportunity that you can take advantage of? Sana naging confident din tayo to also grab them. If ever kapag may mga uh, challenges din tayo, we must be nimble enough or be prepared kung anong dapat gagawin. Okay? So after looking at the overall economic condition, sometimes the I think majority of the investors are also digging deeper by looking into industries and also different sectors that can potentially grow faster okay next one is the industries and sectors according to their sensitivity to the different stages of business and economic cycle so we do have two examples we have cyclical and defensive industry so maybe ngayon medyo um i think na visualize nyo ano ang different between these sectors or industries okay now in cyclical kasi are naturally dependent on them and tends to perform better during the cycle of turns. Okay, for example, you have the real estate sector, financials, and consumer discretionary. Now, on the other hand, naman, yung tinatawag natin na defensive industries have relatively stable demand for its products and services. Okay, one good example, um, utilities, yung mga light and water natin, healthcare, mga hospitals, medical, na mga um, part of the sector, and consumer staples. Okay, so basically, they are, are largely unaffected by different stages of businesses and economic cycles. Okay, now, tapos na tayo sa economic and also the industry level. Next one is the company analysis. Okay, so let me give you some maybe advices on where to look on the specific part of the company, okay? Now, investors analyze the companies under those industries with a growth potential, okay? Essential factors to look into, number one, maybe you would like to check the company's business model, kung paano ba sila nag-generate ng revenue, the costing ba, the pricing, and also the etc. Okay, so basically, number one rule po natin dito is never invest in something that you do not understand okay next one is get to know the management okay so it's good to know their background their reputation as they will be the one to really run lead and also direct the business so at the same time it pays to look at the company's valuation as well no? so it may be actually hard for you if for example wala tayong background with uh, with some parts of this one, for example, yung mga valuation metrics, yung mga price to earnings, price to book, dividend yield, it may be hard for you. Maybe first time natin uh, to look into this one because we need to start investing. Um, no worries po, we do have some webinars naman po that we conduct every quarter then. Uh, one important webinar series that you can look into na medyo deeper about uh investing for example um 
ratios like price to earnings, price to book, or dividend yield, you can check out po the best series natin. Uh, last run po ata is, I think, third quarter of the year. You can check out the recorded version sa ating YouTube channel or you can um, abangan po natin yung live sessions for the next year. So we do have that one every year naman po. So it's also good to know how a company performed in recent years. We also have the trend of the company's revenues. We have the production cost and also the net income. So lastly, after that, we should also know the company's growth perspective, key strategies, and how the company will benefit from economic and industry events. So again, wag po tayo masyadong uh, ma-overwhelm with this kind of information. No? We do have that other um, resource as well. So this is just a first start or first step in stock market investing. We do have some webinars to help you more about your investment journey. Whether medyo uh, mahirap na yung mga topics. Okay? Now, in our quest to find opportunities to earn in stocks, no, while also handling our responsibilities in life, how can First Metro Securities help? Okay, now, our research team regularly publishes reports in our platform that caters different kinds of investors. Okay, all are available naman po 24-7 um, in our trading platform for free to all our First Metro Security clients. Okay, so if you are a long-term investor and also individually pick stocks using, for example, the top-down approach na sabi ko kanina, you will love our company research report. Okay, what usually includes ating company research report no, is the uh, anong bago ba sa company, um, the outlook, the recommendation, the fundamental target price in the next 12 months for that stock. Okay. So in this example, you can actually see a snippet of our company research report just like Jollibee Foods Corporation. Okay. Actually, our um, reports no, is medyo madami talaga that really can help you uh, which stocks to choose from. Okay. Now, these are the individual reports published for each of the stock within the coverage of First Metrosec Research, which are accessible via our platform. Okay, now, the key to outperform will be the patience, selectivity, and proper or prepared kind of portfolio management. Now, if you plan to invest in long term in the stock market, no, here is how it has fluctuated and performed. But at least my better idea tayo. Okay? Now, there are years that the stock market is positive, meaning tumaas yung kanyang price. Sometimes negative or little to no change at all. Okay? So historically, from the end of 1987 to 2021, there were more years that the market gave positive returns. So the total growth rate was also around 775%, 0.9%, while the compound annual growth rate of the PSEI is around 6.59%. So for example, if you're not confident in picking stocks, no, but you are confident that the Philippine stock market will continue to grow over the long term. For example, busy adding lifestyle, we don't have that time to monitor your stock portfolio. And if you can tolerate short-term fluctuations, you might consider po to just track the performance of the Philippine Stock Exchange Index by investing regularly. Okay, so instead of buying of each of the 30 PSEI stocks no, and also monitoring them individually, it might be hard for you. You can simply buy the first Metro Philippine Equity Exchange Traded Fund or the FME, FMETF. So the FMETF Pokase is a mutual fund that tracks the performance of the PSEI, but it is traded as a stock in the exchange. Okay, so as of November 8, 2024, it was trading at around um 112.50 pesos per share. So you only need around 1128.32 pesos, including the charges and fees to start investing in the FMETF. Okay. Yeah. Now, 
As we approach the end of our uh, session, no, in summary, we learn medyo madami in stock market investing. So basically, stock market investing is owning a piece of publicly listed business. So companies uh, natin issue stocks to raise capital for uh, different ventures or projects by end. As a shareholder of a business, we can also earn through the price appreciation and dividends by investing in stocks. We also learn how to use the top-down approach to choose good stocks to buy. Okay, so lastly, we can trade with confidence with the help of first Metrosec research reports. Okay, now I, as I've mentioned kanina, may mga questions tayo already. Please do keep it coming. Um, I will be taking this time actually uh, before we move on to adding Q&A, no? to share a couple things on behalf of First Metro Sec. Now, should you decide to invest no, in our trading platform, we'd like to let you know uh, you only need one account na po for all your investment needs. You can gain access to your portfolio using the desktop, uh, laptop, tablets, and even your mobile phones. At the same time, aside from the stocks that I mentioned you can actually invest in exchange-traded funds or the ETF, yung tinatawag natin FM ETF kanina. We also have mutual funds from our FundSmart partners, UITFs, and also the bonds from government and also corporate. Okay? Now, you can also uh, open an account with us for those who have um, wala pa pong account with us but very interested to start one. You can download the first Metrosec Go mobile app from the Google Play or Apple App Store and click sign up. And complete lang po natin yung online registration form and upload the required documents. So right now, um, all online na po tayo, no physical forms for fast, convenient, and seamless account opening. And for faster processing of your account opening application, please do use the seminar code stock market so we will know that you came from this webinar. Okay. Now, for those na medyo gusto ng guidance or even my existing portfolio ka and you want to have maybe fresh eyes new perspective siguro, you can stay ahead of the market and take advantage no, of this opportunity and maximize returns with personalized personalized portfolio review. Okay, so uh, just schedule lang po, scan lang po natin yung QR code na nasa screen ninyo and then choose your preferred schedule. Okay, so you can take a picture of this one, baka in the future you make a use of this. Okay, so yeah, and so also for customized gamified award-winning market education programs exclusively designed for your company, uh, whether you have that financial literacy uh, week by end or annually or quarterly, you know, ginagawa uh, for schools, mga financial literacy caravan or lectures for maybe some of the uh, financial management or business courses or even organization from your private naman or different agencies simply send us a formal invite at market education at firstmetrosec.com.ph you can invite us as your speaker and scan the QR code for quicker submission of the request form Okay, so recently this one, we have received a couple of awards. No, Every award is a tribute to the trust that our clients place in us. And for that, we are deeply grateful. Um, First Metro Securities, along with its employees, is profoundly thankful for this recognition as a broker and for our trading platform. These awards are yours, our valued clients. Yeah, and for those who are very interested to know more about our company, our trading platform, even our uh, maybe some of our sessions na gusto nyo mag-attend kasi right now we do uh, receive some inquiries kung kailan ba yung mga next public sessions namin or even uh, maybe some events. No? Feel free to connect with us. Our main website is www.firstmetrosec.com.ph In social media channels, search lang po natin at First Metrosec. So in Facebook, we do have an official page uh, also community in uh, Facebook and Viber. And for those na medyo mahilig po to listen in podcast, we do have Spotify channel na medyo, I think, 
um, audible versions of our webinars, market updates, nandoon din. So, we are very active in updating those channels. And for those na hindi po nakabot sa ating live session, some of our webinars is naka-upload naman po sa ating YouTube channels and short videos sa ating TikTok. Okay, now you can also email me if you want to know more about First Metrosec or even my presentation. Just send it to idirampatun at firstmetrosec.com.ph now. Now it's time for our Q&A. Please write your questions in a designated Q&A section of the platform and we'll try to address as many as we can during the allotted time for those na hindi po natin um, entertain because of the limitations of time, we'll try to respond them offline. Okay. Ayan, so, very sorry, nag-inom na pa na, ng water ng konti. Ayan, um, you do have sir, received some questions, no? Um, let me just read off some of it. Okay. First question, um, anonymous attendee, uh, when can I start trading? So, actually, you can start trading uh, with First Metro Securities once you have received um an email na fully activated na po yung ating account meaning wala na pong problems uh, you already re you, you already completed po the whole account opening process so the activation process it takes 2 to 3 days upon the submission of the completed forms and um the identification requirements okay yeah Ayun. So, another one. Um, I did stock market training, but I already lost access to my account. How do I get it back? So, for this one, you can actually email me either on Patton at firstmetrosec.com.ph or the customer service at firstmetrosec.com.ph. Please do send us an email po if um, di na po ma-recover yung account and then we'll try to uh, process that one para mas faster po yung ating um, account recovery. Good. Okay, for the uh, PSE transaction P, um, all of the all of the trades will go through the exchange or the PSE and for that, the PSE charges a 0.005% of the gross trade amount every transaction fee. And receive some thank yous as well from our attendees, okay? And so let me check also our chat box. Okay, another question um, for beginner levels. Um, Pwede niyo po, gusto niyo po as guide oh, on how money works. So again, no, I also flashed yung ating, um, this one, wait lang, um, let me just show you. So this one, aside from the portfolio review, you can actually make use of this uh, as a consultation. So whether you are um, not a First Metro Securities account, but as long as you are interested to open a trading account, feel free po to scan the QR code and um, schedule a consultation with us, whether stock trading is for you or maybe mutual fund for you or bonds work for you. We do have different investment vehicles uh, for different risk appetite. So again, you can scan the QR code para you can book your schedule ahead. So this can be, um, this one kasi, um, pwede din, may, may offices kasi tayo. So we have Manila, we have Cebu and Davao. So this one, we highly recommend na Zoom na lang po para at least uh, mas easier po yung scheduling natin. Okay? Feel free to take a picture uh, or a screenshot for this one para in the future, uh, we can use this as reference if ever you are really interested or maybe kapag may existing account na tayo, you want a portfolio review. Okay. Okay, another question with regards with the account opening. 
Ayan. So, what happens to my trial account after 15 days? Actually, um, after 15 days, you will lose free access to the trading platform if hindi po natin na-complete yung account opening process. Specifically, maybe, for example, yung ibang, doc doc ibang uh, required documents is medyo lacking. So, 15 days po kasi yung trial period and then you have 30 days to complete the process. So, you still have another 15 days to upload the required documents, pay the initial deposit, and do the, say, the selfie verification. So, right now, uh, magkano po to open an account, we do have that minimum of 1,000 pesos. So, 1,000 is the minimum but you can add more to um, serve as the initial deposit naman po. Okay, so second to the last question, um, can I open a joint or interest for account via mobile app? So for now, yung individual accounts po natin can be created using the mobile app so you can open there. For other types of account, maybe may mga uh, may dependence tayo or anak tayo na uh, maybe hindi pa siya of legal age, uh, you can open kasi a joint or interest so, for other types of account, you will have to do it through the website po na um, account opening process. Okay. So, last question, I think. Yeah, for the mutual funds naman po, yes, we do have that mutual funds. Uh, sa ating trading platform, we have over 131 mutual funds um, in our uh, in our platform from our fund smart partners. From our fund smart partners. And um medyo madami siya, but uh, we do have that filter option naman po sa ating trading platform where you can see uh, the top performing funds based on your um, different factors na hinahanap nyo, whether a year change or uh, a day change. Pwede din yun ma-check if um, different types of funds we hinahanap natin. We have the peso denominated. We also have the USD denominated. May mga equity fund, balance fund, money market fund that you can check out there. Okay, I think one, ayun, one question na lang po before I wrap up. Um, Bin Trader, how, how can I change the bank account registered to withdraw before used to uh, BPI bank to transfer want to change from BPI to Metro Bank? Okay, for this one po, if you want to change your settlement bank um, right. na naka-register po sa ating platform, um, you can actually email me idrampaton at firstmetrosec.com.ph that is showing on your screen right now or customer service at firstmetrosec.com.ph kindly email na lang po that you want to change your settlement uh, bank na naka-register so that we can give you instructions and we can start um, the procedure para at least ma-change na natin yung inyong settlement bank account. Ayun. Yeah, and we also received some thank yous as well. Okay. Now, uh, let me check if meron pa ba. Ayun. Same then with the um, change bank account. So again po, kindly email me or the customer service that you want to change your settlement bank account para we can send you the procedures and the requirements. Okay. Para ma-start na po natin yung ating um, updating. Okay. Ayan. So I think that is the last question. Ayan. So that sums up our webinar. No, medyo madaming questions regards with their account opening or account updating. So again, feel free to email me or the customer service. Also, if you have other questions po, we do have that help desk and also FAQs po sa ating website that is updated naman po. So thank you so much for all your questions. And for those na nagstay po up until this point, no, I'm not gonna uh, drag this session, but at least you have that time for that weekend activities as well. And to our attendees, one last favor na lang po. We also value your feedback. You can share your thoughts and experiences with us by scanning the QR code on your screen and answering our feedback survey. 
Actually, um, I think a link will also be provided by our chat moderator. Your input is essential in helping us improve our services and better meet your needs. We appreciate your contribution and look forward to the positive changes based on your valuable feedback. Okay, now... While you are answering the feedback survey and to formally close this session, no, I hope um, na maximize natin yung ating finances, lalo na if para ito sa ating personal growth, whether you have that investing journey or investing goals. And I hope we enjoy it as well. No? So there you have it. Thank you also to everyone who attended this afternoon. We sincerely hope that you learned a lot from this session. Um, and that these insights and lessons will make your investment journey not just more profitable, but also more enjoyable. So we hope to see you again in our future learning events, because over here at First Metro Securities, we put your future first. Have a great day, everyone. This has been Tara, your host, your speaker, and also Tim as your chat moderator. Have a safe uh, day ahead of you guys. Happy weekend, po. Thank you, everyone.